Yeah, one of the cool things, uh, some of the projects that we work with that were really interesting, it's related to IoT or Internet of, Internet of Things. Um, several scenarios. One scenario was a company uh, that had different streaming cameras. They had some uh, artificial intelligence on them. The idea of those cameras is that they can identify either faces or objects or colors or different things. Uh, once they identify a specific thing that it's uh, over a range of rules that are set by a human on a, on a, on a website interface, it can be that on a specific uh, time scenario or specific uh, during night uh, in a specific place or a specific uh, box inside uh, the range of the camera. If there's movement or a movement is a car or the movement is, is not a car or it's a human, that it would send alert, specific alerts. Uh, the idea is for it uh, uh, to use uh, these um, cameras that have uh, IP addresses. They will be sending information to the cloud uh, constantly. It could be either the status of the camera being on or off. It can be if the camera was moved or shocked or lost visibility for anything. It can be because of a human interaction. Or it can be because of, of a windstorm. Um, once there's a movement or there's anything that it, uh, it's in, in the range of those alerts, he would send an email. Uh, especially depending on, on who was using these cameras, it could be to a security guy that would say, okay, there's movement on camera three on a specific uh, street on the doorway, and it's not the usual, so this person would see the video and, and react to that. For some other scenarios, it's just for uh, supermarkets where someone was changing stock on a place that uh, was not expected. So if that happened, then someone would have a set of alerts and could see if the stock didn't match what was expected, who was uh, moving stuff around. And another use that was not yet there, but was uh, something that was planned, is for uh, shopping malls. If a person is lost, or if something uh, required finding a person for any specific reason, it would quickly identify which cameras identify that person or that face or a person with that shirt with a color or size I would uh, bring a couple of videos of what that person was doing for the last hour. Of course, such intelligence has some uh, false positives sometimes, but it could help, for example, if a, a child is lost in a shopping mall, they could close the mall and understand where that person was, where that child was uh, during that time, or who the child was seen with uh, uh, on the last couple of minutes. The idea is once uh, any device is sending information to internet, as, uh, going to infor information to a cloud, and the cloud is sending information to a website, it's how to secure the data. So the challenge there is, okay, devices need to be secure, the framework needs to be uh, written in a way that it's uh, uh, hard to, to, to cyber attack, uh, any communication to be encrypted end-to-end, uh, -end, uh, making sure that if devices are used to access this uh, cameras with passwords, for example, a security guy that will enter the site uh, uh, to access the camera or the administrator that would uh, configure the cameras to make sure that it has, the devices are locked uh, every five minutes or something, that the passwords are used are strong passwords and are changed frequently. Uh, those are the most challenging scenarios.